OK, let's prepare a geometry for applying toolpaths. Open the first part and first let's hide the dimensions layer and construction layers. OK, let's turn on the visibility of the geometry direction arrows from the view tab select the display options and select the ghost tools and in addition to the fact that one arrow means one geometry it also indicates the direction and machining side if the arrow is centered on the contour it means that the tool will follow the contour with its center so we get an undercut on the workpiece for circles with diameters 117 and 15 the arrows should be inside the contour because the outer contour and these circles will be milling and when milling operations the position and direction of the arrows determine the side on which the cutter will move and the direction in which it will move. Holes with a diameter of 9 and 11 millimeters will be drilled. The position and direction of the arrows doesn't matter for drilling operation. Ok, so to the change the side and the direction of the arrows from the machine tab select the option tool directions we have two sections here open geometries and close geometries open geometries are those whose beginning and the end do not touch so for example the line is an open geometry in our drawing all geometries are closed so we will use the closed geometries section we can specify the direction and the side we will start with the outer contour so select the cw as the direction and the select outside as the side and do not close this window and indicate the geometry of the outer contour Okay, the arrow changed the direction and the machining side. Okay, now we will go to the circles, set CCW as the direction and inside as the side. And again, do not close this window and indicate the circles with diameters of 100 millimeters, 17 millimeters ok and 15 millimeters ok ok the directions and the side are already set so we can close this window ok and save our drawing. Okay.